This is Cindy Meniere with Aduda Book Creator. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use our crossword puzzle creator tool. To get to the tool, click Activity Book Tools Crossword Puzzle Tool. You should start by selecting your trim size. I'm going to go with 6x9. Then you need to decide how many clues you want per puzzle and how many puzzles that you're going to have in your book. I have a spreadsheet that I created that contains clues and puzzles for six puzzles with ten clues for each puzzle. I'm going to use this spreadsheet to cut and paste my clues and my answers into the boxes provided. You can select what font you want for your puzzle. This can be any of the fonts that you've previously uploaded or any of the standard fonts that we offer. You can change the text you want to show above the puzzles by double clicking where it says puzzle and then typing what you want it to say. I'm going to have it say holiday crossword puzzle. If you click on download PDF without having enough clues and answers for the number of puzzles that you indicated, it will give you an error message. I only have six, not 60 puzzles here, so I'm going to change that to six. And then I will re-click on the download button and get my PDF. And here's what the download PDF looks like. In this case, we didn't click use maximum size for all puzzles, so the puzzles are all different sizes just based on the clues for the across and down and how the puzzle ended up coming out. If you want them all to be the same size, click on use maximums for all puzzle sizes. And then when you download that, you see that they're all exactly the same size. One of the things you can do is change the colors of these empty squares in the puzzle, the ones that don't contain the clues. Here's an example of making it darker. You can also have the empty squares not show up by dragging the slider all the way to white. And this is what that would look like. If you want to have a page separating your puzzles in your answer pages, click on include page before puzzle answers. You can customize what you want to say on that page. I'm going to change it to holiday crossword answers. And you can decide whether you want that page to show up as the next page, on the next odd page, or the next even page. So here's what it looks like with it being on the next page. See it says holiday crossword answers. It's on page seven in this book which is an odd number. So then if I wanted, I could switch it to being the next even page, and that will cause it to put a blank page in front of the page that says holiday crossword answers. Another thing that you can customize is the wording that appears above the clues for the across and down. You just click on the where it says across and just type what you want in, do the same thing where it says down, and then what you type there will now show up instead of just the plain across and down. See, so now it says holiday across and holiday down. Notice it keeps the same case, however you entered it, it'll show up exactly the same way. Another thing you can customize is the maximum font size for your clues. So I'm gonna set this to 20. You note that it's much larger now. And you'll see that there, some of them are bigger than others. That's because if having the font size of, in this example, 20, if it won't fit on the page, it will automatically decrease the font size until it does fit on the page. So if you want to make them all be the same, you can play around with it until lowering the number until every single one of your pages looks exactly the same. The last thing that you can customize is how many letters across and down you want for your crossword puzzles. I'm going to switch this to make it square, 15 by 15, and I'll show you what that looks like. I'm switch it to the landscape type book, and I'm going to switch it so that we have more across than down so that it will fit the format of that book better. And this shows you what that looks like. 
I'm going to select a different font and show you what that would look like. All of your text is in the other font. We can also do it for square size books. Let's make it the maximums be the same. And this is what it looks like in a square book. All of these PDFs are KDP upload ready. Here's an example of one of them in the print previewer. If you have any questions about how this tool works, please leave a comment below or ask your question in our Facebook group.